Well, with Chris Medlin scheduled to start this game after his last start, he pitched very far into the game. So we are going to have to sit him out this game. And Chad Billingsley is going to get the call to pitch this game. So what is up, guys? It is Finn here bringing you guys some more Phillies franchise here in MLB 15, the show. And uh, one thing I did want to point out that is going to be something new I am going to be putting into my videos is a straw poll, which will be located in the description below. And it will just be a random question. It could be something to do with, uh, like, who I should trade. Should I trade this guy? Should I put him on the block? Should we sign this guy? Or it could just be, you know, random questions like, uh, who do you think is going to hit the most home runs? Do you think this guy's going to be an all-star? Who do you think will be on the all-star team? Just, you know, some stuff to get you guys involved and get you guys, um, you know, interactive more. And, um, you know, I thought it would be interesting. So, it's Alex Wood against Chad Billingsley this game. And leading things off is Ben Revere, who is going to fly out to shallow left field. As Simmons is going to make the catch. To start out the game, next batter up is Cody Ashey. He is going to hit this one over to second. Third to first is going to be in time. Two outs now. Two up, two down. Alex Wood looking for an easy one, two, three first inning as Cesar... Hernandez is going to hit, or not hit, he's going to strike out, swinging at a pitch in Dirt Billingsley. Now into the game, Ashley's going to take charge, and he's not going to be able to pick up the ball. So runner on first as the leadoff man is on base. Next batter up is going to ground it over to Hernandez, and the third of first is going to be in time. And if you guys didn't, um, I actually forgot to point this out. If you guys didn't realize in the starting lineup, there is a new addition to the team. He's actually out there in right field as it is a Diane Viciedo, and he is now, I actually signed him as a free agent to play since, um, you know, we didn't really have any good backup outfielder so I decided to um, you know pull him in and see how well he would do for us and there he is striking out <laughs> to uh, start out um, the game but you know whatever but he has been hitting 333 before this game so we'll see if he, if, uh, ugh, he will get it back up this game so Billingsley back on the mound in the bottom of the second as this one is hit out to Viciedo. Has trouble playing it, but he is going to make the catch. So one out now. 2-2 two, two count. This one's going to be hit over to Galvis. Third to first will be well in time. Two outs now for Billingsley as the next batter up is going to hit this one over to Sizemore and left. And that will end the inning. So... Three up, three down for the Braves. Next better up is Galvis. He is going to line this one right between the shortstop and third baseman for a lead off base hit. So great star for the Phils. Grady Sizemore up next. And that's just going to not work out at all. As that is going to be a double play for Sizemore. Next better up is Chad Billingsley. And he is going to hit this one behind shortstop as Simmons is going to run back and make the catch so that's going to be the end of the top of the third this one's going to be ugh, oh my god I can't speak today this one's going to be popped up to Aaron Sebia over at first base who's taking over for Darren Ruff and Billingsley's going to get the next guy swinging for a strikeout and Alex Wood will also go down swinging to end the in in oh my god to end the inning. Billingsley looking very strong this game, and uh, so is Wood as both of them have yet to give up a run and really haven't given up many hits yet. So Cesar Hernandez is going to be up next as he is going to hit this one up the middle for a base hit. So a two out hit for Hernandez as that is going. To help the Phillies now, hopefully, and Aaron Sebia is going to be up next. He is going to also get a hit right into left field as it's now first and second with two outs. Viciedo up again, and he's going to strike out as that's his second strikeout of the game. Eric Young Jr. up now, and he is going to hit this one into center field, but Revere is going to be there to make the catch. 
One out now for the Braves. Next batter up is Nick Markakis, who's going to hit this one into right field, and that's going to just get down for a base hit. So, one out, runner on first as Freeman is going to go down with a check swing. Next batter up is going to hit this one into left center field. Revere is going to get it from going any further. The runner is going to go home, but the third of the plate is in time by Galvis to cut down Nick Markakis. So, three hits for both teams, no runs or errors for either team. As Carlos Ruiz is going to lead off the inning by drawing a walk. So, no outs now. Freddy Galvis is going to hit this one into right field now as it is now first and second with no outs. As Sizemore is hoping to get some runs now, but he is going to actually lay down a bunt. And Freeman, not sure what to do with it, and the third of first won't be in time. So Sizemore trying to give himself up, but instead he is going to get a base hit. Chad Billingsley looking to help his own cause as he's going to hit this one into right. All runners go back to their bag, and they're all going to tag up, and they will all be safe. So it is now 1-0 Phillies as finally a run is scored in this ball game. It is now second and third now. For the Phillies with only one out. Ben Revere up next. He is going to ground this one over to second. The run will score. However, he will be out at first. But it is 2-0 Phillies as Galvis comes around to score the second run of the game. 2-2 count. And Ashy is going to go down swinging. Not, it has not been Ashy's game so far. And Chad Billingsley now back on the mound to help out the Phillies as he is going to get the strikeout to start out the inning. Next batter up is going to ground this one over to Galvis. But the throw to first is going to be very offline as that is going to be an error for Galvis. However, next one's hit to Galvis and he is going to just barely turn that double play in a very close play at first. Might have been able to challenge that, but the Braves don't. So Cesar Hernandez leading things off for the Phillies as he's going to strike out. But Aaron Sebia is up next and he's going to draw a walk for the Phillies. So with the runner on first, next batter up. Oh, wait, we have a pitching change and that is going to be it for Alex Wood as his time is done on the mound so he cannot get the win. However, he can still... Get the loss. It's 2 nothing as he only pitches 5 and a third. So, I guess in his way of uh, losing his frustration, he takes on and off his cap. But anyway, that is going to bring in uh, Juan Hame. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. But Viciedo is up next, and he is going to ground into a double play. So Viciedo, one of the few Phillies that have not been helping much this game as Billingsley has just been on fire here this game great decision to put him in instead of uh, have Medlin probably only pitch five or six innings and Billingsley even low on the pitch count as you could see on the graphic he's at 60 but he's going to strike out Eric Young and Eric Young definitely not happy about that so Braves are going to bring in another reliever as they are going to bring in Andrew McKeerahan as he has been yet to give up a run this season. So first batter is going to pop it up to third base as that's going to be the first out for the Phillies. Freddie Galvis is up next and he is going to strike out swinging at a pitch in the dirt in the third of first. He'll be well in time. Two outs now for the Phillies as McKeerahan Looking good out of the pen, and Sizemore will also go down swinging as well. Billingsley back on the mound as we have not taken him out of this game yet. And Revere is going to make the catch out there in center field. Next batter up is Freddie Freeman. He is going to ground this one to Hernandez, and the throw to first will be in time. Two outs now. Billingsley deals and delivers. This is going to be a ground ball over to Ashy, and the throw to first will be easy. And on target for the out. So three outs now for the Phillies. Top of the eighth, Billingsley is going to hit this one in the center. And this one is going to be caught out there. Next batter up is Ben Revere. He is going to hit this one into right center field. But it will be caught. 
again by the center fielder. So, next batter up now, Cody Ashy, and he, again, will go down swinging. So, Ashy just not happy about his game performance. Billingsley in the bottom of the eighth. This one's going to be hit out there to Viciato, and he is going to make the catch. Next batter up is going to hit this one to Billingsley, and he will get the out at first. So, great play by Billingsley to uh, hustle and make that play. And now this one's going to be hit over to Galvis in the third of first. He will be able to get it to first this time. Top of the ninth. Now Hernandez is up, and he is going to pop this one over to Freeman, and he will make the catch. One out now, and McKeerahan is still in this game, as he has still yet to give up a run. The next batter up is Aaron Sebia, who is going to hit this one into center field for a base hit. So Aaron Sebia is up with one out, but Viciato is going to strike out again. I believe that's his third strikeout of the game. Ruiz up next, and he is going to pop this one up over to Freeman at first. And that's going to end the Phillies inning as Billingsley is going for the complete game shutout. And this one's going to be popped up to Revere, and he is going to make the out. Next batter up is actually going to get a base hit. So one of the few base hits for the Braves as they are looking to start a rally here. But this one's going to be popped up to Ashy at third. Two outs now. One out to go for Billingsley to get the complete game shutout. Will he get it here? He will. And that's going to end the game for the Phillies as they earn themselves a complete game shutout. Thanks to Chad Billingsley, who was not scheduled to start this game. As again, it was supposed to be Chris Medlin. But Billingsley does a great job coming out of the pen and starting this game. Last minute notice as he's going to earn himself the win, the complete game, and the shutout. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. And um, don't forget to check out the straw poll in the description below. Uh, I'm actually not sure what's, what it's going to be yet, so I have a couple ideas, but it, it will be something new in every franchise episode. So hopefully the Phillies will be able to get back on a hot streak as they are now in third place in the NL East, as I remember looking at the standings after this game. So hopefully they can get back on track and get a winning season at least. But that is not the goal. The goal is to win the World Series as always. And um, hopefully we can uh, continue to rebuild this team. Actually, after the game, I put Cliff Lee on the trade block. And there was a lot of options. Uh, good dis good players on the that we could have gotten. There was Brandon Moss, uh, Josh Hamilton, Nelson Cruz. So if any of those guys sound interesting to you, let me know. But, um, you know, I was really tempted to sign Cruz or Hamilton. But, um, yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.